Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us. Wouldn't it be nice to have a drill or an exercise that improves your backswing and your downswing and leads to much, much more accurate shots? Something that doesn't require too much thought and confusion. Well, to do this, you're probably gonna have to eliminate one of the biggest misconceptions in golf. It's actually one of the biggest mistakes I see in the golf swing. We do this and it can make a huge difference to your overall consistency. That's what we're gonna work on in this week's training. Before I get into it though, if you're new to the channel, this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button, you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. So, what is what I believe is the biggest mistake or misinterpretation in the golf swing? The word turn or rotate. A lot of people misinterpret this and it has a huge detriment to both their backswing and the downswing. I don't know whether you're trying to do this yourself, but if you're feeling that you're not completing your backswing, you're struggling to make a turn, you're struggling with distance, this could be one of the main reasons why. Now, what I see a lot of people doing is when they're trying to make a turn, they're often trying to rotate their shoulders. Now, what this leads to is, is almost a rolling of their shoulders where the club starts to go around the body way too much here. And they struggle, they feel like really tight, they're struggling to rotate. The other thing I see is, is people trying to rotate their hips here. Well, that just kind of gets us moving off center too much. And again, it's make, it makes it very difficult to get back to the golf ball for consistency. Let's have a look at it from this angle. So from this position, what I'm seeing is, is they're turning like this, get some st standing up sometimes, but they're really struggling to complete their backswing. On the downswing, I see, you know, I don't feel the same, but I see people trying to rotate their hips. That's not what the best players do. They do look like they're rotating their hips, but they're doing it in often a different way to what most people are interpreting. What we wanna do is in golf, we work on very much straight line motions here. Watch this. When I take my backswing here, that right foot goes straight back. The weight goes straight back into the heel. As that happens here, it will give you, I'm sure as you're watching, the interpretation that I'm actually rotating my hip. On the way through, watch this. As I come through, as I push this straight back here, what happens? It looks like I've actually rotated my hip, doesn't it? But there's no rotation at all. All I'm doing is the forces are being pushed straight back. What we don't want to be doing is moving. This gets the body moving around and it's really uncomfortable. So watch this. Let's start with the backswing first and then we'll work on the downswing. What I want you to try and look at here is this. When you take the club back, I want you to practice just simply getting the weight moving straight back into that trail foot, my right foot here. That's how we make it, straight back here. And then on the way through, there's a gentle push. At this stage at the back swing, there's weight on the heel and there's weight on the front foot. Just be, watch out. Some people make this mistake. As they're pushing the weight into this heel, this knee can go in. Don't let, that, don't let that happen. That would be this type of force. We're doing this, yeah? This motion here. So pushing back into the front part, the lead foot, heel the right. Now, from this position, yes, there's a gentle force here. Going forward, you can add that in. That would be the middle stage, but then watch this. There's no what we call rotation here. It literally is that force going straight back. As that pushes straight back, what happens to this? This goes here. So if you're at home now and you kind of jump out in your garden, just have a go at this, have a feel of this. Take a couple of swings, maybe even with that golf club to start, or maybe with one hand, and just practice the weight going straight back into that heel here and straight into the front part of your lead foot. And then as you come down, look, simply just simply push that straight back here, there. And you're just trying to get this timing. Look at how that starts to coordinate. Now, why is this important? Well, let's have a look at it from two perspectives. Let's have a look at start with the hookers. If you hook the golf ball, I hook the ball now and then, this is what tends to happen. We get a bit here, and what we do is, is we start to slide. Now, the problem is when we slide, or we start to, and then we start to rotate, the club gets stuck behind. We haven't, we've gone too laterally. Now what happens, the club's stuck, we're gonna have to catch up. This club gets flippy and unstable out of control, it creates big, big curves. You don't want that. If you slice a golf ball, you do the reverse. Rather than slide your legs, you slide the body. So what happens is, is you get back here and then you rotate your body this way. So you're actually getting rotation this way. Again, we're not creating these straight lines. So how do you work on this? Well, the first thing I would do is, I wouldn't work on it with a golf ball whatsoever. What I'd do is I'd just simply practice, first of all, feeling this. The weight's going straight. Now, straight back here, move then diagonally across, and then straight back through. You see that there? One, 
through. Nice and slow, just fine to get the tire wash. If I get stuck in here, I'm stuck, I'm gonna have to flip it now. But I don't want to do that, so I'm getting those lines working. One, step here, straight back, through. Just practice getting that timing. It will feel quite strange. I remember when I first uh, learned this a uh, quite a while ago now, I was always taught to slide across, get this kind of moving too much. And then what that does is, is it kind of, that's what for me is where power feels like it's coming from. So when I started to do these straight lines, it feels I wasn't generating any speed. But actually, it's not about that. When you get over to this golf ball here, you're staying over there. It's about how you put pressure on that golf ball and stabilize that club so we can hit it straight. So I'm gonna push straight back here, straight back there, and it's just lovely little draw. Just left side of that green, okay? So it's such a simple motion, but the great thing about when you start into this, these straight lines, look at how naturally centered I stay. If you find yourself moving around, that's a huge cause of inconsistency. So you're straight back here, coming back in, straight back down, much, much more centered. So let's have a look at it just from this angle, just to finish off and give you some specific things and how you should work on this. I would work on it in stages. First of all, just get the sensation of how you're gonna create that back and get the weight going straight back into that trail foot. My right hand foot, just feel it's going back, not moving to the side, it's a straight line motion. Feel that there. Then, watch this. Then from here, just maybe you hit some shot, just maybe do some swings just like that initially maybe. Straight back and through. Once you get that sensation here, we'll then start to perfect the downswing. So straight back and swing, straight back and swing. We haven't cracked it yet. So now you've got a sense of how that's working. Then add the middle bit in. So it's straight back here. Now watch this. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to feel like I'm moving this way front to my front uh, part of the toe. I'm leaving my weight in my heel here and there. And then this is the key bit. The downswing then comes and this is the accelerator pedal. You're gonna push down really hard with your heel here. That gets the right, and, uh, and your toe goes this way. So your weight's going from heel to of the left, toe of the right. These are your accelerator pedals. So the, it's looking a bit like this. Back here, now watch this. Practice your accelerator pedal. You could do this quite simply by doing some, again, some demo swings. Straight back here, now watch this from here. Practice the accelerator pedal. Here. Practice the accelerator pedal. We don't want to be in here. We don't want to be going there. We don't want to try to turn our hips straight back here. What's this? Practice that accelerator. Try and get the timing. The more you get this, the more it will just feel correct. Let's have a look at this in action. Absolutely love it. It really does help to one, improve your ball striking with both your irons and your woods. Really stabilizes this head. If your head gets behind here and it's out of sync with the body, you're gonna have to catch it up with your hands. Likewise, if it's out of sync here, you're gonna have to do weird stuff, which is why you slice it. We wanna keep this coordination going. This motion here keeps you centered, but it's also a great way of delivering and keeping that club face nice and stable and square and timed through the hitting area. Hope you really enjoyed this. Do this in phases. Work on the backswing, just in summary, work on the backswing first. Feel the straight line force going here. Then from this position, just really feel that you're enhancing the weight in the toe, keeping the weight in the heel. And then finally from here, put on that accelerator, pe uh, accelerator pedal here by just going straight back there and then deliver that golf club. Clearly, this is a great thing that you can do in your garden first. No golf balls, just practice getting that timing. No, no, there you go. When you get it, it just feels right. And away we go. I hope you enjoy this training. If you do, give it a thumbs up. 
and maybe share it with you, one of your friends who can maybe do a bit of work on this. Again, don't, this doesn't require any golf balls initially, just helps you to get a feel for the golf swing. Of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get to see me hopefully next week. But until next week, stay safe, have a great week.